Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a LinkedIn company page newsletter. Now my name is Louise Brogan, I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise and I invite you to subscribe to this channel for more content on how to use LinkedIn for business. Why would you want a newsletter for your company page might be your first question. So your newsletter is your long form articles on your LinkedIn company page and why they're so beneficial is because your audience subscribe to this newsletter and when you publish one, whether it's weekly, daily, uh, fortnightly, um, or whenever your cadence is, the newsletter goes directly to your audience's inbox. So not just their notifications on LinkedIn, but also into their email inbox. So it's a really valuable tool for getting your message out to your right audience. There are some guidelines though on how, how and when you can create a company page newsletter for LinkedIn. Number one, you have to have at least 150 followers on your LinkedIn company page. So focus on getting past that 150 follower mark first, and then you will have the ability to create and publish a newsletter. When you are creating the newsletter, you want to think about what the title of each of the newsletters is, but also what is the name of your newsletter. For example, mine is LinkedIn for Business. Um, so it could be that you are an HR company or you're a law firm. So are you sharing legal tips um, on a monthly basis? What are you going to call your newsletter that's going to attract it to your ideal audience or clients? Then think about your headline for that monthly newsletter, which is separate to your company page newsletter title. We're going to go through all of this right now over on LinkedIn. Um, so let's dive straight in and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're here on the LinkedIn screen and I'm going to show you on two different pages, the, the different options. So one page that I work with has 264 followers. So when we go to click write article, it says up here, create a newsletter. So we know that this page can create a newsletter. If we look at one of the newer pages that I'm working with, they do not quite have the 150 followers. They have 141 followers. And when we click on write article, there is no option to create a newsletter. We just check over here, new article, my articles and settings. There is no option for newsletter. So let's go to the company that does not yet have a newsletter. And I'll click on there for you. And what we'll do is we go and we click on write article and up at the top we click on create newsletter so these are all the options that you are going to fill in so your newsletter title and you want to think the key here is no emojis in your newsletter title what would your clients be interested in your audience be interested in reading so this is an hr company page so it might be hr tips and advice <laughs> So this is an HR company page and we would want to probably think of a newsletter title that is interesting and eye-catching to people who are interested in human resources. How often do you want to publish? So you probably want to choose something you can stick to is my advice here. Um, I think a company page, depending on the company size and your resources, could be weekly, could be bi-weekly, which in the UK is called fortnightly or it could be monthly. For our clients, we all do monthly publishing. This doesn't mean that you are reminded by LinkedIn to publish monthly, by the way. It is your choice and it's basically telling your audience how often you're going to publish. Then you have your description of your newsletter and you add then a logo, 300 by 300 pixels. This is a square logo. And then this is really interesting your page followers will automatically be invited to subscribe to the newsletter and then you would click done. I'm not going to create this newsletter on this client page. What I'm going to do is take you across to my company page, which already has a newsletter. So come out of here and we'll go across to Louise Brogan Limited and how you get to write the next newsletter or the, the new one is this is what it looks like. So it's a publishing menu and um, you can actually use the same software to create an individual article or we can stick with our monthly newsletter. 
So the key here is write a headline that's going to be attractive to your audience. So for example, I might write creating LinkedIn newsletters for your company page, a step-by-step -step guide. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image, which I will have ready for you already. And then I'm going down here to write my article. So in the article, you can use these pieces, uh, little tools here, add images, videos, slides, links, or snippets. Um, also, once you start writing, somebody had asked me, how do you format the writing? And you can really only use these formatting tools up here. So ordered list, unordered list, bold, italics, underlines, dividers, block quotes, and links. There is no other formatting available for LinkedIn newsletters at this point in time. So let's pretend we've all our lovely newsletter written for us. Here's one I did earlier, rather than making you sit through me typing everything. So there's my headline. Here's my cover image. Scroll down and then begin writing. So the key here is to write in short paragraphs that make the writing very readable and digestible by your audience. So this one is about how to optimize your company profile. And you can actually, I'll link to this in the comments below. Um, add in images as you go, um, because it makes it much easier for people to read. Scrolling down. Um, so interspersing. It's not too long, this newsletter, because you, you want people to be able to read it. Um, we've got bullet points, lots of white space, nice images um, in here. And you can change, you can add text to the side of the image. You can have the image centered. I'll show you what it looks like, like this or like this. Um, and then at the end, make sure you have a call to action to the people who are reading your newsletter. So have a regular cadence on your newsletter. You only get one newsletter per company page, so make sure that um, it is something that works for you. You can edit the title of the company newsletter, so if somebody else has created one and you don't like it, you can go in and change it. Um, make sure you have the cover photograph, which is this bit at the top here, your headline that attracts your ideal clients, and you can only publish one article per 24 hours. So when we click publish on that, it says, are you updating? Because this is a previous one, remember. Um, that is what the article looks like. This newsletter has 339 subscribers. And if we look at the stats on this article, that was this newsletter that was posted, um, it had 216 impressions, 18 engagements, and that's pretty good, 8.3 engagement rate, and 53 article views. So you can find out the statistics on the, uh, the newsletter you are publishing as well. Remember, newsletters are the same format as LinkedIn articles. You can publish it as a newsletter or you can decide to publish it as an individual article. So go back to write article. This publishes automatically as my newsletter. If I want to put it into an article, I click on here. Um, and it says here, create a newsletter. You can only create one newsletter per company page. LinkedIn also gives you writing tips down here and you can give them feedback on the software. I'm gonna go and write my article, newsletter, on how to create a LinkedIn newsletter for your company page step-by-step step, and I will link that below. Please do subscribe to the channel if you find this useful and any questions you have about company pages, articles or newsletters, please put them um, below and let me help you to get the answers you're looking for.